Hey y'all, I am making chicken bacon ranch casserole and I'm trying it in all in one pot in the microwave. And I used the rock crock and I cooked four chicken breasts in the rock crock with nothing on them. I didn't add any liquid, I just put the chicken breast in and I've already started shredding some. But they, they take a little longer to cook than the pasta. So that's why I went ahead and did them first. And you, you can cook them halfway through and then add your pasta and have it all done at once. But to speed up the video, I figured I would do it this way. So I've got just about a minute left on the pasta. And then I can show you how I'm gonna mix this up. I'm also trying another new experiment in the air fryer and I made cornbread sticks. So I can't wait to show you those. I've got some more to do. I love these salad choppers. This chicken was hot and just came out and I was able to shred it. You can see that. With the salad choppers, you can shred it as much as you want or as little as you want. And I wanted them left in kind of chunks. So when we're eating, the casserole will taste the chunks. But normally you would cook this in the oven, so I'm super excited to know that we can do it all in the microwave. So it's got about 20 seconds. Let me move the chicken and I'll bring it over and then I'll show you all of the other ingredients that I'm adding. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my oven on broil because I wanted a little bit cheese a little toasty on top. Okay, got the rock crock pan. Let me take the lid off. You can see that steam. So what I did after I cooked the chicken, I added about three cups of dry pasta with one can with the small can of chicken broth. So now, let me get a fork. Let me check and see. Oh yeah, that ten, it is very tender. I did this for 12 minutes. Let me steam up my glasses in the microwave. I cooked my chicken because I had four breasts. I cooked them for about 15 minutes and checked them and they were done. That rock crock cooks fast. So I have got 12 ounces of Alfredo sauce and one third cup of French dressing mixed together. And I'm going to pour it in the pasta. This is a very delicious dish. And I usually do it in the oven, but I thought I want to try to figure out a way to do this in the microwave. So it would be quicker and easier. And I don't have to bake it for an hour. I ain't got time for all that. That's our largest prep bowl. I love these. They've got a nice pour spout and you can measure with them. And of course, you know I love my scoop and spread. So I'm just going to stir this around. And I cheated this time and didn't fry my own bacon. So I have got the real imitation bacon bits that you buy in the bag. I've got a cup of those and I'm gonna pour those in. This is our one cup glass prep bowls. And then I've got a cup of mozzarella cheese and a cup of shredded cheese. I mean, <laughs> cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken in. It's really a lot, probably more chicken than I need, but I like a lot of chicken in mine. See how that scoop and spread just scrapes everything right out, y'all. I love this tool. It will clean out a jar. Ooh, that pan's still a little warm looks delicious. Try to tilt it up so y'all can see it a little bit. Mm, it smells so good. I used the Olive Garden ranch dressing and it is delicious. And I just used the ragu Alfredo sauce. Sometimes I make my own, but I didn't do that this time. And I saved the cheese. I might go ahead and I'm gonna put about half of each in and stir it. And then I'm gonna put the rest on the top and pop it under the broiler for just a few minutes. You don't have to do that, 
but I just think it's prettier. And I like my cheese a little toasty. Ooh, this pan's hot, y'all. The rock crock can be used in the oven, in the microwave, on your outdoor grill, under the broiler. It's the only cookware I have ever owned. I can boil, I can fry in this. It's the only, like I say, the only cookware I have ever owned that can be used in every possible cooking method that there is. So can y'all see that so far? Doesn't that look delicious? So now I'm going to just put this rest of the cheese I have on top. And I've got the broiler set. So I'll put it under the broiler for a minute and then show you. I love these prep balls. I keep things in the refrigerator in them. I know it's a cup size. It does have measure markings on them. Let me get y'all a closer look. So in 15, 15 minutes, I have this done other than the broiler. So let me put it in the oven and I'm gonna show you my cornbread sticks and then we'll be done. timer on my broiler so I wouldn't forget. Pepper Chef has got a new fun toy and they're called fruit leather trays and they're for the air fryer and I have made my own fruit roll-ups or you can uh, fruit sticks but I use when I made them I rolled them up but y'all look I did some cornbread and I thought I wonder how they would do in the air fryer and as you can see they did amazing so basically I just used it cheated and used a jiffy cornbread mix and put it right in these pans and they smell so good and look so good. I've got another one. I think this is cool enough now. So I'll show you what I did. And I just took the jiffy corn mix, cornbread mix, and I used our small scoop. And I'll probably make a mess trying to show y'all, but I didn't make a mess when I was doing mine. And I just go along and I put two scoops. This is a table, a teaspoon scoop. So I'm putting two teaspoons in each well. And I won't keep you on for the whole thing, but I wanted you to see how I did it. And then I just took one of our little spoons and went along and kind of evened it out. Put it in the air fryer for 12 minutes. So I didn't have to heat the oven up for these either. And in 12 minutes, they were completely done, just as you see them right here. Oh, they look good. Almost got a little too done in 12 minutes. So there's three trays. You can do three trays of fruit roll-ups at one time, and three trays of cornbread, corn sticks if you want. So that's my corn sticks. So that is it, guys. Let me check on this. I'll get it out and let you see, but I don't think it's really broad enough. Oh yeah, it has. It started toasting up a little bit there. Y'all see that? Oh, it smells so good. I wish we had smell-o-vision. So that is it, under 15 minutes. This delicious bacon chicken ranch casserole is ready and I've got our breadsticks done. I'll put those others in the air fryer and let them be cooking while we're eating this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will share this recipe with you so you will know how easy it is to make in your kitchen. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.